magic is really very simple. All you've got to do is want something and then let yourself have it. Aggie Gromwell, Halloween doubt. <laughs> Hello beautiful people, it's Kiko and welcome back to Kiko Loves. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've sat down and recorded a video talking about books. <laughs> it's been a while. But today I'm super excited because I am sharing my October TBR and I don't know if I'm going to read all of these books, but I want to. So I decided that for October's TBR, I wanted to just give a one sentence explanation summary of each of the books and it was kind of fun trying to figure out one sentence to describe sort of the book some sentences i just made up some sentences are taken from the direct goodreads summary because i loved this particular sentence and some i just made up with the goodreads things because obviously i haven't read these books so i don't know how to summarize them in one sentence all by myself so i needed a little bit of help <laughs> first is the bone witch t a bone witch accidentally resurrects her brother and an older and wiser bone witch takes them to another land for training <laughs> next is mexican gothic Set in 1950s Mexico, a tough, smart, brave, glamorous debutante finds herself in a haunted mansion. Next is Wondersmith, The Calling of Morrigan Crow. <laughs> the sequel to Nevermore, where we see more of the marvelous Morgan Crow, boy love, and friends. And enemies. <laughs> Next is The Shadows. Paul finds himself back in his hometown because of his ailing mother, where as a teenager, his friend committed a shocking murder and was never seen again. Next is Legendborn. Oh. Bree comes across a secret society of Legendborn students who are descendants of King Arthur's Knights and discovers her own unique, wonderful, magical abilities next is air of fire the throne of glass series follows female assassin selena sardothian and this is the third book so i'm not really gonna give a summary of this book because that's giving away plots and things that happen so yeah <laughs> next is queen of shadows which is the fourth book in the throne of glass series so again just you know more selena more lots of other others lots of others <laughs> next is incendiary renata a rebel spy working against the crown uncovers a secret in her past that can change the entire fate of the kingdom and end the war that has already cost her so much next is aurora birding shocking revelations bank heists mysterious gifts inappropriately tight bodysuits, and an epic firefight will determine the fate of the Aurora Legion's most unforgettable heroes, and maybe the rest of the galaxy as well. Next is Muse of Nightmares. <laughs> Love and hate, revenge and redemption, destruction and salvation all clash. In this astonishing and heart-stopping sequel to Strange the Dreamer. <sighs> Next is A Torch Against the Night. This is a sequel to An Ember in the Ashes, where Lyle and Elias fight for their lives. What's new? A lot of things. Probably there's a lot of new things, actually. <laughs> Next is Home Before Dark. Maggie returns to the house that was made famous by her father's best-selling memoir. Haunted house, a haunted house. Next is The Beautiful. 
Set in 1872, 17-year-old Celine flees from Paris to New Orleans, where she is now surrounded by dark creatures of the underworld, murders, and secrets. Next is The Damned, which is the sequel to The Beautiful. And last, I'm sort of planning to read Midnight Sun. Yes, that Midnight Sun. We get Edward Cullen's perspective. I'm so nervous to read it, but I'm compelled to read it, so I will. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I can take it, I don't know if I can handle it. Also, just thinking about Twilight is a little bit cringy, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, my teenagehood. What even were those days? So those are all the books that I hope to read in October. Some are spooky, some are witchy, some are vampire-y, some are just super fun, and some I just need to finish by the end of the year. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Are you guys excited for spooky season? I'm excited for spooky season. Spooky season! Also candy. Even though we're not trick-or-treating this year because, well, not that I've trick-or-treated any year in the recent history, but, uh... <laughs> that's not spooky, that's, that's just hairy. <laughs> you know it's full when it's cool enough <laughs> to wear your hair down and it not immediately bring all the dirt. I don't even know how to wear my hair down anymore because I feel like it's just been summer for the entire year. But that's okay. 